it's a sad thing to be a teacher, to want to be a teacher, to want to help educate. It's a bad thing when the students is the ones who is making it hard for you all to be able to do your job, man. It's really, really difficult. So shout out to all the teachers who are still just trying to do something out in the community. But we got a substitute teacher who got assaulted, but there's no arrest. The student was not arrested. I want y'all to pay attention. The student was not arrested. Watch this, though. Shot by you, turning out to IT mate, and a 75-year-old substitute teacher who says he was assaulted by a student earlier this month. He's sharing his story now because he says the student was never arrested. IT mate's Cody Fisher sat down with the teacher who tells his side of the story. Before Rob Gooding was taken by ambulance from Perry Meridian High School to the hospital, he told school police he wanted to press charges. Nearly a month later, the student still hasn't been charged. Mm. Anything like this ever happened? No. No. Ooh. Ooh, they got him bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all do know he's 75. Been charged. Anything like this. Look at that, look at, look at, look at that. Look at, look at, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. He did him bad. Ever happened? No. No. Rob Gooding started substitute teaching after he retired. He was in the middle of teaching a business class at Perry Meridian High School when a student attacked him. I saw him come up and he says, I've had it. And he came down and I blocked the Chromebook. book. That's where that hole went. And it shut me down like this. And then all of a sudden he covered o hovered over me and with his left hand whammed me the assault left him with a severe black eye damn down bad look about it and y'all ain't gonna arrest him he assaulted the elderly f for one he assaulted a teacher for two this man child he man was six child. two 280 pounds six two 280 He's a man child. When paramedics arrived, Gooding said a district police officer was by his side. Immediately you said, I want to press charges. Yes. He said to me. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, ooh. Shout out to our light of you brothers out here, man. When y'all get hit in y'all shit, boy, y'all shit look bad, bad. We have been instructed by the higher ups, which is the district, uh -oh. not to handcuff or arrest the kid. Wow. And I said, what? And he said, yes, that came from the higher ups. Higher up, and this goes back to when we talking about in other cities, like when we speak about um, the street takeovers, like they don't want to arrest them and they don't want to hold them accountable. Boy, this is the season. This is y'all year. This is y'all year to make things um, right. In a statement, Perry Township Schools said, We are disturbed by the allegations involving a Kelly Services employee and student at Perry Meridian High School. Perry Police responded to the incident quickly. A police report was forwarded to the Marion County Prosecutor's Office. Prosecutors will then make a criminal charge decision. Due to confidentiality reasons, Perry Township Schools cannot comment on disciplinary action it takes against its students. We can say, however, the district has zero tolerance for violence. They have not discussed anything uh, about uh, him being arrested or anything. Did not, did not had them told y'all like they be already having these the statements made and stuff like that. And I keep trying to tell y'all, they don't give a damn about you. They don't care about you. They lie. Every one of these statements is false. Every one of these statements is lies. Prosecutors will then make a criminal charge decision um, due to the confidentiality reason Perry Township schools cannot come in on, on on disciplinary actions it takes against its students. We can say, however, the district has zero tolerance for violence. Y'all full of it. You cannot say in one instance you have zero tolerance, but in the next one you're not going to hold um, the violence accountable. You're not going to hold the person who commits the, to violence accountable you can say zero time you can't have zero tolerance and there's no consequences and repercussions if people break your zero tolerance so in turn you is a lie you is a liar
comment on disciplinary action it takes against its students. We can say, however, the district has zero tolerance for violence. They have not discussed anything uh, about uh, him being arrested or anything. And you still want to press charges? Oh, yeah. And I haven't heard a thing. If I was out there on Meridian and he did that to me, where would he be? He has to be accountable for his actions. Thank you. That's the same shit that I be saying. It's the same shit that I be saying, especially when I be talking about um, females and domestic love relationships and you all just couldn't get away. It was hard for you to leave and um, he held me against my will. But if I punch in your damn face, you you know to call 911. But you've been, you have been held against your will. You have been trafficked while walking the strip selling your monkey. Police been passing you day, day after day after day. You don't know to reach out to law enforcement and say, this dude is forcing me to sell my monkey. Oh no, but if I punch you in your shit, you will easily call 911 and press charges on me for punching you in your face. You know exactly what to do if that happens. But your sex trafficking thing, I have no, I, 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 I just can't get away. I play too much. And that's what I feel. I reached out to the Marion County Prosecutor's Office about this case. A spokesman said he would look into it, but I haven't gotten further details yet. Reporting in Perry Township, Cody Fisher, Wish TV, IT Man. At 75 years old, you need to go out on a suit. You need to go ahead on and sue. You need to stay at the crib. And I do kind of understand because he's already retired. He's already retired. And maybe he just went back. Um, well, I'm pretty sure he went back for the money. Hell yeah. So I can still get my retirement and make some more money because that's what a lot of school districts is doing because we need teachers so bad. You can keep your retirement, your social security. Nothing will be affected. We, we need for you to come on back around here. Now you just got to stay at the crib. Hell, you possibly need to just go ahead on and work for Walmart or something if you just need to do something. Hell, buy you a motorcycle or something and let's go camping or something, you know. Travel. Get out there in the streets, you know. Mm-hmm. Say, if he does it, he'll probably be fired. I, 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 listen, listen, I truly think that he need to sue and sit behind home. Or find something else to do with his time after he sued. Because they're not holding the student accountable. I can get assaulted again and nothing will be done. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. But as soon as I fight back, you all want to um, talk about firing me and pressing charges. For real, for real. Moving right along, I ain't going to eat much, hold you.